Let's go to the vents. Please continue with your... Uh, skylight opens. Perhaps I should investigate for myself. You want me to physically go look at it myself? Because I looked at it earlier. Uh, fast and shut before, but now the catch has been undone. We should be able to open it. Oh, and if we do that and we look directly below it, what do we see? Uh, you can see inside and there's a lamp in the enclosed cabin. I'm sure the witness has been nice to see it. Okay. Do we go inside? Like, why did he want me to check this if I'm not, like, looking directly? Yeah, I don't know what it wants me to look at if it wants me to look at something. Because I thought that I'd be able to, like, look at it straight down, but clicking on it didn't do that. And I can't... I'm going to be like the camera to look at it straight down. Because I figure it would be like, oh, the blood's right beneath there. So the only thing I think of is that I just present this with this new information and we'll figure it out in the objection. Objection! Nope. Clearly, there's something out about the. Uh, yeah, my bad. Okay, there was something more I could. Uh, what is it? Look, just here, look at this. Oh, what? Okay, that's much better proof than it just lining up with the blood stain. Oh my fucking goodness, it was like just a slight little sliver of coming inside and looking at it. God damn it. God damn it. Objection! Okay, now it works. Okay, of course, now it works. On the night in question, the victim was fatally stabbed in the stomach, and immediately afterwards, the victim's body was pushed through the skylight into the cabin below. Those are the facts. An irrefutable proof is... remaining clearly visible in the omnibus that stands before us today, in this very courtroom. What? That, that's a, a utter humbug. Ah, can't possibly have any evidence. Oh, no, you can't. I know I mean, you didn't do it, I tell you, it's impossible. You refutable proof here in this courtroom. Counsel. My lord. I believe everyone appreciates a little clarification here, hmm? Where exactly within the omnibus is this evidence which you allude? I mean, I lit like, legitimately. I had to find it before it even let me use this evidence. It's like, there's not really any other choice. Oh my fucking goodness. Like, I can examine it in this mode, too. Okay, come on. Did, was there a present button? Was there a present button I wasn't even thinking of? I guess, yeah, this makes sense. These are, these normally play out like that. Got it! By Jupiter, is that... Blood? Oh. This blood stain proves two things. Firstly, when the incident occurred, the skylight of the omnibus was open. What? And secondly, the victim was already bleeding when he fell through the opening. Oh my! And so it follows that Mr. McYotid, who was inside the enclosed cabin himself at the time, cannot possibly be guilty of this crime. Are they actually guilty? They, they feel like nice people, that's the thing. Well, no, if they murdered someone, I guess they're not that nice, but still. Hold it! Even criminals are humans, right? But, 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 but the blood could have been sprayed up there when the fellow was stabbed inside the cabin. Not if it was closed. It only found its way to that one particular spot in the skylight. Oh, sure, that would be very convenient. Oh. And let's keep in mind that skylight catch can only be unfastened from the roof deck. I myself wouldn't have been able to open it now, would I? But, 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 you're the one who established that, kid. There's no way to know for certain, is there? If the gent really fell through the skylight, I mean. Why don't you have a good look at the floor of the cabin between the two seats, uh, Mr. First? It's all too plain, you see. It's the aftermath that shows the poor fellow dropped from a fair height right there. So it is. What if it's not murder? 
What if it's like he just fell on his own fucking knife? By like accident. Lies! My fellow jury members! I think we can all agree that this is clear proof of the defendant's innocence, can't we? I mean, we don't know about who did the rest of it, but yeah, if we're talking about guilty innocent, it's always interesting how we have to like prove someone else is guilty in the other games before you get to call someone innocent, right? I believe we can, yes sir. It's clear to me now where the filthy rubbish can be found in this courtroom. So, they thought they could pull the wool over eyes, did they? <laughs> <laughs> I won't tolerate any of the guild's carriages being sullied with blood. I won't tolerate it. Oh, I always knew that nice gentleman who gave us that life bar couldn't have done such a thing. Oh, on three then, everyone. One, two, three. Objection. A chilling performance, Mr. McGill did. Oh, and what would he be referring to there now, Lord Ranzix? Does he have any a blood stain on the frame of the skylight? Such evidence is null and void. What? Why? For one extremely simple reason. That smear of blood. Never existed. Objection! What, what are you talking about? It's there for all to see. It's clearly blood. Objection! I personally attended Scotland Yard's investigation of the omnibus. The officers involved went over the carriage with a fine tooth comb. So I can state with absolute surety. No such smear of blood existed in this carriage. At least, not until this trial began. Why does he keep fucking saying this? 418. 418 is the number of the carriage. Let's remember that. But. Uh, are you suggesting, Lord Van Zeeks, that the stain of blood was. fabricated, my lord, yes. And while this court has been in session, it's been sitting there. Hmm. <laughs> What's a palaver? I must say I didn't expect such crude reasoning from the prosecutor. Uh, of your standing, Lord Van Zeeks. What's I'm Magnus McGildin? A fellow known all over the capital for his fine contributions to public life. I don't take kindly to slander, and I'll fight it to the bitter end. Even if it's rolling off the tongue of the Reaper of the Bailey. Mr. McGildin, I realize that this is your first appearance in court as the accused. However, I'm well aware of your involvement behind the scenes in a great many affairs of dubious nature. You're very adept when it comes to avoiding getting your own hands dirty. Ah, uh, why would he set up something where he was in the location? And each time it happens... ...that a case you're involved in is investigated... ...you adapt the facts. Adapt the facts? What does that even mean? When you kneel the fortune size of Mr. McGilded, however ill-gotten it may be, nothing is impossible. Tampering with evidence, manipulating the scene of a crime, bribing witnesses. I told your ability to concoct the most convenient of stories, sir. Would you, Lord Van Zings? This would not do, to be sure. Wait, right now, Council? Huh? Oh, no! I mean, it's sort of like a shitty argument to make, right? I think it's bad to say. This all does sound rather, uh, far-fetched. Excuse by a desperate man. A blood on the sky like it didn't exist, you say? But, if you will, I'll cast your minds back. Is it not true that the omnibus has been here in the courtroom the entire time? 
How could anyone have possibly put a smear of blood in it without word, or uh, and his uh, without the world and his wife saying? Isn't that right now, Council? I mean, the argument to be made there is that it happened with the smoke grenade thing, right? It's true. The only bus has been in fuel view the entire time that the court has been in session. It's not like either the potential accomplice of the pickpocket or McGilded haven't been, like, legitimately like within the custody of this guy or something someone from the court like the entire time even during that here's to hearing your opinion on this matter in your own words oh do you want to hear Japanese then uh no me gusta as you wish. Someone had tampered with the animus during the trial. If you're asking me, I think. Save. <laughs> save, 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 save. Okay, back. Yeah, it could have been possible. It has to have been possible. As a defense lawyer, it's my job to advocate for the defendants the best I can. <laughs> I know. But if I truly believe that my guy is innocent, finding the truth should bring up forth his innocence in the end, right? The tricky part is the, with the jury trial and trying to stop them from making up their minds before we get down to the basis of the truth, right? Which does make this a really fun sort of like it's a really cool dynamic watching it sort of like flip back and forth. This has been like, in terms of like the trials for these games, this is like, I gotta say, it's been a while since I played these through properly, but this has just been a really, really good one. Like, just by like the pure mechanical elements of it, like working into it. Feels though there's something even more important at stake here. There is no evidence to suggest that the defendant did as my learned friend suggests. However, in terms of having the opportunity to carry out this alleged tampering, there is one possibility. Oh. Gracious. Explain yourself, Consul. Yes, there is. Seems my learned Nipponese friend has no intention of running from his, uh, this deceit. Deceit? Oh, I'm sure everyone still remembers clearly. <clears throat> the recess we are forced to take. And my throat slowly dying. Yay, long COVID. Yay. As a result of the smoke grenade fired by the witness currently in the stand, Miss Gina Lestrade. And yes, if there's tampering, the fact that it was her does suggest that it was <sighs> purposeful for that meaning. going on. Be careful, Mr. Naruhoto. Cover your face! Bailiff, don't let these use escape. Secure the omnibus. I oh, yeah, yeah, okay. The courtroom is filled with smoke, and everyone is thrown into confusion. All of us were made to leave the chamber. In that brief interval, under the veil of smoke, and in all the chaos... It could have been possible to steal inside the omnibus. Yeah. But he didn't. Mm. Are you wise? What are you trying to pull, you, you rotten feckless gouger? Fe feckless gouger? Those aren't even fucking words. You're supposed to be defending me. 
Tis a wicked plot. Tis a plot to undermine me, so it is. Objection! Whatever you think it is, it changes nothing. The facts are the same. After this court was evacuated earlier as a result of the smoke grenade, a number of inconsistencies materialized in relation to the omnibus. Inconsistencies such as... To start with, the storage compartment underneath the rear passenger seat. When the police investigated the omnibus, this compartment was full of the driver's items. Secondly, we have the smear of blood on the edge of the skyline. As I've said, I was not present at the start of the trial this morning. Okay, so if you're saying the shit was taken out of the omnibus, that is... One, where did the blood come from? Two, where's the shit? No, someone didn't just pick up an entire thing of supplies and just run off with that with no one noticing. Right? And who got fucking blood? Unfortunately, though, Advances. No one is able to corroborate your claims. That's true. I didn't see... I didn't check any of that shit. <laughs> when the Omnibus was first wheeled out, both the storage compartment and the skylight were shut. Accordingly, I'm afraid to say, we cannot establish with any certainty if this evidence is the result of tampering or not. Indeed, my lord. No doubt there is not a single person who saw fit to verify such things. What do you think? Sorry. I never checked it. About the omnibus. Is there anything else unusual about the omnibus? What's it throwing in front of me? What am I supposed to see here? Is there something obvious from that view that I'm supposed to be seeing? Oh lord. I mean, I I mean, I have to. We're on that trail. It's like, I, I'm not sure. Like, if it gives me the opportunity to present something, it means I should be presenting something. It's very rare that it's like I'm not actually supposed to. There's one further inconsistency. A mark that surely could not have been present at the start of the trial. Oh, is it the blood stain? The thing that I noticed that I didn't think I saw before? What? What in the devil's name are you going to say now? If, if you tap it... Oh. Objection! <coughs> he said something while I was coughing and I was dying. <clears throat> Silence! Silence, McGeldy! This is my voice now! Uh, the court awaits the defense's clarification. The only thing I can think of is that blood, fucking blood stain. It's the only thing I saw and was like, I don't remember that. It is legitimately. Try to keep swinging one way and then the other. I have no idea what the truth is and what's deception. So just pursue the facts, evidence, one by one. What am I supposed to believe here? I shall have you uh, ask you to elaborate, counsel. Okay, so we're inside again. This is the only fucking thing I have any idea could possibly be like that. Oh, it, I need to present it. Oh, dr drama. Drama is ruined. The drama of the moment. Zeke has made no mention of it. Oh, yeah, I suppose that's a point that, uh... I mean, it's also the fact that he's like, I have a bad feeling about this. Got it. When he saw that. I don't remember seeing that before. I, that's the only thing that, like, I don't remember seeing before. If we consider the victim fell through the skyline on the floor of the cabin, you would certainly expect to find such blood where he landed. But as far as I recall, this blood stain on the cabin floor was not there when the omnibus was first brought into the courtroom. Yeah, that's the only thing. Like, I... This was days ago, literally, for me, so... Yeah. Yes, I do believe you're correct, counsel. Well said. Although, as advocate for the defense, one might say that it was a very... careless slip of the tongue. I believe that blood stain on the floor is a decisive piece of evidence. 
But if the question is whether the evidence is genuine or whether it was unlawfully fabricated by someone, I feel compelled to admit that there's at least a possibility that the evidence is fake. Oh no, he hired someone competent. Oh no, he hired someone that has like a... I, I don't know if he fucking... Is he gonna be guilty of this? This trial is over. Like, he... I don't... I, did he really do it? Uh, okay. Maybe he's just that fucking good that he convinced me. I've done everything I possibly can to cooperate with the courts, but... It is all over now. But... But you're the defendant! Silver, I tell ye! Memory, recollection, what people think they saw, it is all nonsense! Back saw what's guns, and the fact is, the bloodstain is there now! Ah, well. And over the course of this desperate trial, long and extremely drawn out as it has been, that's good, but nothing Reaper the Bailey has failed to present any decisive evidence at all. I'm scandalized, so I am. Thought better of Lord Van Zees. Well, my lord. I mean, I got... I, I, I will admit, it, it's not a... <clears throat> like, the possibility of it being tampered isn't really a strong thing. It's up to the jury, right? It's a jury trial, right? It's definitely beyond a reasonable... It's definitely not a beyond the reasonable doubt threshold for this sort of stuff. It's maybe, like, the which is more likely burden of proof, but... I must concur with the defendant. An unaffirmed recollections of an individual cannot stand as evidence. At this moment in time, the particular bloodstain question is very much in existence. And in absence of any credible method by which to prove its alleged previous non-existence. I regret to say that it would be improper for this trial to continue. Your, your lordship can't be serious. Lord Ranzis, what is your position? The prosecution, my lord, has no further witnesses or evidence to present. Very well. In that case, as I believe we have explored every possible avenue in this matter, I shall proceed to my adjudication. As a formality, I am of course obligated to confirm with the defense first. What formality? As things stand at the moment, it would seem that Mr. Mogyota will be found not guilty. Yes. Which would mean we've won? Is that really the right outcome here? Well, the legal system is messy, isn't it? Is it really all right for the trial to come to an end now with all these unexpected inconsistencies? Also for the defense. Your closing statement, please. Hmm. Yes, my lord. The defense believes... I, as a general concept of what this series has brought me to believe, could he be guilty? Yes. Should we pursue those avenues down as much as we can to try to get to the deep element of the truth? Yes. Should I, in my role in this chamber, be the one to be a advocate for the defense for my client as the prosecution should be the greatest advocate against him and we should both be making those arguments against each other and especially when you're coming to closing statements my statement should still be the defendant is innocent I'm not going to make a save here I have no confidence this won't create something really horrible for me but this is what I truly believe I should be doing here as Mr. McGill's legal representative. 
No, don't, don't take my choice away from me. I can't breathe. The air in here is stifling. But I'm this man's defense lawyer. There's only one thing I can say in this situation. I believe the defendant, Magnus McGilded, to be innocent of the allegations brought against him. Thank you, counsel. As to you, my Nipponese, uh, Nipponese friend, and the most abject closing I have yet to hear in a court of law. What's abject mean? I'm so sorry. I don't know what abject means. <laughs> um, <clears throat> completely without pride or dignity. You know what? Uh, I, I do. You know, I, I literally did it out of a sense of responsibility like and dignity. Like, that is legitimately the most dignity. In, in my belief of what the the courtroom should truly represent, fuck you. Like, legitimately. Van Zeeks doesn't seem like he's a sh like a, an ultimately bad person, but he does not seem to give a shit about the law. He seems so really fucking up his own ass about getting what he wants out of the system, in the same way McGilded is. Obviously, one murdered a person and the other didn't relevant uh but yeah fuck you <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh it was a grand decision to appoint you as my lawyer so it was a grand decision Save one of London's most influential gentlemen, Bella. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, have this for your troubles. Was this originally made? This was originally made for the DS, uh, 3DS, wasn't it? <coughs> that feels like a scene from a 3DS game. The job here is done, fella. Find some work you've done, uh, and some fine work you've done, you have. So you have. What do you mean? He's just the right honorable gentleman to simply put it before. The trial can't go on anymore. And your closing statement there was, uh, how did he put it now? Nothing more than a formality. <laughs> you know it's a jury trial, right? And if you start... And if you start, like, laughing maniacally at, like, I got away with it before the jury trials, like, yeah. Shouldn't. <laughs> it's not about whether they're guilty or innocent. I really do believe that. It ma that obviously does matter. But having two sides competently go at it. To try to get to the truth, to be given that opportunity. Obviously, that won't always happen because some people won't be interested in getting to the truth. They'll be interested in getting a result. Like what I see from McGilded and Van Zeeks at the moment. Which makes me sort of dislike both of them. Like, as people. Whatever. <laughs> was the evidence we've seen genuine, or was it fake? His lordship would be fuming. Any slightly rubbish should be supposed to promptly, as I said... Is it a majority rules, or do they all have to agree? Oh, is it going to be a hung court? Or a hung jury? Is that a thing in this? This stinking rich are always guilty of something. You... Ugh, mark my words! Well, I feel terribly ashamed that I ever doubted the lovely man who gave up us, uh, gave us a lovely park. Hmm. Now that proceedings have unfolded this way. I am compelled to declare a premature end to this trial. Furthermore, the court must accept the defendant's plea. The plea being what specifically? I thank you kindly, my lord. Hmm. 
I hereby pronounce the verdict of this court. Objection! But, but we still haven't determined if the blood in the omnibus is genuine or not. We don't know if these witnesses are telling the truth or a pack of lies. We have no idea about the truth. Lord Venzis. Lord. The case made by the prosecution was flawed, plain and simple. If indeed the omnibus pres uh, presented as evidence was tampered with, the prosecution is at fault for allowing such a disgraceful perversion of justice to take place. I mean, my sincerest apologies, my lord. That is, like, legitimately... Like, if they were so like, yeah, this guy would do anything to win. Why didn't you have better fucking security on the evidence? Objection! But, but wait, I mean, yeah, no, I... I Okay, I, I want to hug you. We'll find the truth together. No, we won't, but still. When we evacuate from the courtroom, Lord Van Zeeks ordered the evidence to be secured. I'm afraid the prosecution cannot shun responsibility in this matter. That That's so unfair. The culpability of the defendant has not, at the present time, been established by this court. Consequently, the jury will not be required to proffer judgment. What? Why? Yeah, why are we even here for? Then. <laughs> That's sort of funny. Ah, Lord Ranzis. It's been a pleasure, so it has. After you, my dear fella. I could have asked for a better defense. I appreciate that you appreciate that. Fuck you at the same time. You mean to tell me this has all been a grand waste of time? This is the law of the land, my good man. If you'd like to pursue this matter further, you can always go ahead and try to change the law. Magnus McKeown. Oh, good grief. You have more to say to me, have you? Just one thing. A warning. This is far from over. Well, something to be looking forward to, then. <laughs> oh, I, I can't do, like, a Waluigi laugh. I feel like it would be, like, a Waluigi laugh or something. I hear pronounce the attendant, Mr. Magnus McGilded. Oh, well. As the nature of some mysteries, you just can't get to the truth. What other option did we really have? <laughs> this, this is such a bittersweet fireworks moment. I like how unsure this ending is, too. Oh, that's something else I hate, too. When, when people go on like, oh my goodness, this person, he's innocent of this. He has not been determined guilty in the court of law. Especially when they haven't even been to a trial over it yet. Let alone after, like, guilty, not guilty does not equal truth, right? And I guess that's sort of the point of this, isn't it? With the courtroom in pandemonium for the second, uh, second time that day, the judge delivered his verdict. And my first ever trial in Great Britain came to an abrupt end. With the defendant being found not guilty. Ostensibly a victory for us. I guess I get to keep going. Maybe we'll get him later. Like you said, it's probably not over. certainly was a long trial. Ah, yes, it was an entire chapter. No no investigation. None of that. Your first ever trial in foreign soil and your first victory. It was a wonderful performance. You're being very nice, thank you. My heartfelt congratulations. And to you too, Ms. Suzano. Thank you for your assistance. Ah. 
suppose we should be happy. Trouble is... Oh, we're still completely in the dark about what actually happened. Well, we didn't have enough time. Oh, resources? What else could we have checked? Like, how would we have figured that out? What avenues were there left to, like, a approach in that? Like, if Van Zeeks had an idea, he could have brought that up. And just been like, we need more time. We can check this. This is something we can check to confirm or deny this. All we had was, like, a couple memories. And I, like, I remember thinking that when I first saw it. I didn't see it. It's like, yeah, but I don't know. Oh, fuck. Could have I showed them my recording of the last episode? Or the last, like, the earlier episode? <laughs> the last recording session. I could have showed them the recording when it wasn't there. And I, but I haven't even checked that myself. I don't know if it really wasn't there. I don't know. Ooh. Like, I don't, I legitimately don't know. I have a record that I can check after this, but I'm recording at the moment. I'm not going to check. I mean, who's actually responsible for Mr. Mason's death? We don't even know that. Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so much, like, if he fucking tampered with it, there's so many unanswered questions. The story fucking added up, like, a fucking puzzle for him telling the truth. The sole aim of the defense is to obtain a verdict exoner that exonerates the defendant. You carried out your duty to perfection. I mean... I that you did... Mr. McGilded. Ah, and that girl's with him, too. Ah, it seems the stories are true. Oh, what stories? About the six enormous fireworks they be do letting off when there's a verdict of not guilty. Well, you never got one of those before? I'm sure you must have seen them now. Spectacular, wouldn't you say? Never burned down a building, have they? Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't fireworks on a not guilty verdict be a great way to burn down a building and all the evidence within? I heard it was a sight to behold, and to be sure it was. And I have you to thank. I suppose I have an opportunity to see it. <laughs> oh, maybe that's it. I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm not sure I really did anything. What all of you are saying, fella? How did I walk out of there for a man, then? I don't think it was so much thanks to me as down to your planning. It does add up with why he was willing to just be like, oh, all I need you to do is stand next to me and claim to be a lawyer. Yeah, straight talking fella, aren't ye? But I must say, you had to be astray there uh, in the head once or twice. But you're young and headstrong. <laughs> Ah, it's his water under the bridge. Congratulations, Mr. McGillan, on having your name cleared. But nothing's resolved. There's only one thing that matters to me. Oh. Aye. They've all seen that I didn't do that odious and obstinate deed. It is grand, is it not? I suppose it is. Now the fine fellows of Scotland Yard can take matters in hand and sort out any wee details. Let's see it for what it is. They'll get to the truth. I've absolute faith in them, so I have. After all, I be doing providing a good number. Uh, I do be providing a good number of the wages with all the taxes I pay. <laughs> it's not that funny. Actually, that part wasn't funny at all. So then, as we agreed on before, 1,000 guineas for your troubles, fella. Oh. Oh, no, no, I couldn't possibly accept that much. Ah, ah, be whist. You humble people, are you? You from the East? Well, if you insist, to have this, Dylan, and all, this is over reward. Mr. Magnus McGilded, did I just get... Do I have money to stay here? Everything is ready, sir. You'd like to follow me into the courtroom. Into the courtroom. What's this, officer? The sooner than I was led to believe. Oh, but it's not inconvenient, sir. There's some changes to the schedule. 
Yeah, I must be making tracks now. Is he gonna go into another one and get convicted guilty on that? It's time for the inspection. Sorry? What inspection? Oh, they're going to examine the omnibus again, so I'm told. I asked if I could be present for it myself. Oh, could I? They're going to examine it again? Now? Naturally, I'm under no obligation to take part in any more of this matter now. But as an upstanding member of London Society, I do be doing my best to help wherever I can. It is a gentleman's duty, so it is. So then, I think well, it was an absolute pleasure meeting you. But I want to see too. I want to know. I hope you have a whale of a time while you're studying here in Great Britain. Can I have the thousand guineas? I like will give most of it away, but it wouldn't be in your hands then at the very least. Uh, and there he is, a free man. Yay. Oh, hi. Oh, I forgot she was here too. Oh, oh no, no, not at me. No, 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 not at me. Oh, okay, no, no, you're taking a long time to look. I should be able to see this guy. Don't move. <laughs> Whereas I want to say, yet yeah, I move on. She really does take forever to load that thing. Miss Lestrade, would you mind putting that thing down? Yeah, grown up. Yeah, but I'm not really all that grown up in the end. At least on this side. At least on this side of the screen. Sorry? And I ate all grown ups. I guess I do own real estate now. Does that make me a grown up? I. I <coughs> real estate with <coughs> long <coughs> COVID. <coughs> Ah, oh my goodness, I haven't actually had to talk in such a long time. My damn goddamn symptoms still going. <sighs> I hate all grown-ups. Ah, uh, there you are. What? Naughty naughty running off like that. I've seen her design before. She's like on box art and stuff, I think. Is this some kind of... Picnic? Who's this little girl now? I ain't taking that with you as well. Was looking forward to the try run of my experimental smoke grenade launcher. Aha. Oh, do you want to play? You won't beat me. Oh my goodness, that seems so much better. Uh, um, excuse me, but who are you? Oh, good day to you, I'm well. Ha, ha. The inventor, I suppose, of that machine. The inventor. Well, normal smoke grenades are so dull, don't you agree? White, white, more white. Ugh, just whitewashing the entire world, eh? If, if you have to uh, be shrouded in smoke, at least it could be a pretty color, I thought to myself. You have to be shrouded in smoke, though, at all. I just took my eyes off of it for a moment whilst I was changing into, uh, onto a different omnibus, and she pinched it. Luckily, I fit it with a telegraphic beacon. A tele what to what? I have no idea what this girl is talking about. I, I don't even think I'm that good at English, and she's just saying words that are completely... Anyway, you're coming with me now. Back to my laboratory. What? What? What for? To apologize, of course, silly. To my technician. What? You mean... Oh, say sorry. You must say sorry when you've done something wrong. Surely an adult has told you that before. An adult. Hmm. I don't listen to no adults. I... Just that fucking image of I don't listen to no adult and a fucking bazooka being named at her. Come along then, follow me. Fine, have it your way. Oh, good. I s you see, I knew you'd want to do the right thing in the end. I'm fairly sure what she wants is not get shot by that massive gun of yours. Well, I'll be leaving now then. Bye-bye. I'm so sorry for all the fuss. She was a lively one. Well, do you think perhaps we ought to be on our way now, too? Yes, you're right, but... Where to? Oh! Uh... We haven't had time to find a place to stay. No sooner than we had arrived in London, we were rushed here. All our traveling cases are still with the bailiff. Hmm. 
I was originally planning to spend a day in search of lodgings. But at this late hour of the day, I'm afraid we may be out of luck. Don't worry, though. I have a plan. If worse comes to worse, I heard of a lovely park where we could spend the... No, no. Please tell me you're not thinking of a gilded park. I know it may be a little chilly at this time of year, but... Our youthfulness will see us through. I'm... I'm not so sure about that. I think a midwinter London night will freeze a young person solid just as easily as an elderly one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that London is significantly more north than Japan, so... Good luck with that. Oh dear, that doesn't sound agreeable. I'm starting to regret turning Mr. McGyota down. Get a 1,000 guineas would have paid for a lovely born room. Or a mansion. I was thinking, like, maybe we could use that as, like, just a piggy bank while we're here. And so, the trial to determine my worthiness for the study tour was over by the end of our first day in London. However, as we were still, uh, as we are soon to learn, there were more trying times ahead, just as the Reaper of the Bailey had warned. The case was far from over. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. What's going on? Get the fire brigade! Water! Bring water! Quick! What the? How did this happen? I don't know, sir. By the time I got here, it was already engulfed. No one was supposed to be allowed in here before we started investigating. <gasps> oh. oh, shit. No. Oh, good God. This oh, shit. There's someone in there. Oh. Oh. This, this can't be. Holy shit. Did I mention something about burning it to the... Did he see... Oh my fucking goodness. I think I made a joke about that. I feel like I made a joke about that motherfucking... Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, save. Holy shit. Okay, I don't know when I'm gonna get to the next one. But that was... That was very good. That was legitimately one of the best trials I feel like I've ever done in this... Uh, in this series of games. That was fantastic, I gotta be honest. Like, I... Like, I still don't know if he really didn't do it. Or if he just felt like he was in a situation that was so fucking... Like, likely to go against him. That he just set it up. Like, it could have been a different murder, and he just thought, oh shit, this is gonna look like I did it. And people are, people don't like me if they, like, set me up in a certain way. They're gonna make me look like I did it. Even if I didn't. It could have easily been that. Even if he did tamper with it, it doesn't mean he did it, right? Really, like, one of the best cases I think I've, I've, I've ever done in this series like that. I know. I also know it's been like literal, like a decade since I really played these games properly. But man, that was maybe I just am just so dis detached <laughs> from playing the games that I'm not used to how good they can get. <laughs> Either way, that was fantastic. I very much like that. I think I, I, I'm still jumping between playing games at the moment, but I definitely want to continue this, especially now that we're getting into this. So. I'll see you all then, whenever that is. Drive safely, everyone.